Hello, and welcome to the Great Recess Framework Bite Size PD. My name is Meredith Dolney, and I am the Playworks District Coordinator. My role is to provide training and support to all elementary PE Brain Booster folks, as well as recess teams. I know, my job is amazing. All right. Today, let's all be committed, responsible, respectful, and safe throughout this training. And wherever you are viewing in from virtually, let's follow our professional virtual norms as well. So while you all are familiar with our MTSS framework, today we'll be focusing on how we collect data and assess elementary recess as a district. For learning intentions and success criteria, your learning intention today will be learning about the foundations of recess and how to utilize the great recess framework You'll know when you're successful, when you can utilize the components from the GRF to improve your own recess. Today, we are going to go over a quick discussion of a perfect recess. I'll introduce you to the Playworks theory of change as well as what a high-functioning recess looks like, go into detail of the GRF, and share with how we currently use it and how it can benefit you as well. So... I'd like you to imagine what a perfect recess would look like. If you walked outside on duty, what would you see? What would you hear? And how would you feel? Most likely, you're imagining lots of students moving around. It's recommended that children get at least 60 minutes of movement a day. So our lunch recess and grade level recesses, minutes are integral to, for that goal. We'd want to see positive interactions, such as high fives between students. We'd also hopefully see students working together, like sharing equipment. When it comes to what we want to hear, laughter is such a great indicator for our students having fun. We also want to hear cheering like, woo, or more specifically, good job, or reassuring words like high five, nice try. When it comes to feelings, whether you are the adult on duty or a student who is playing, we'd want feelings of playfulness, obviously, as well as curiosity and safety. Recess should be a safe place for students to practice taking on low-risk situations like trying a new game or skill. If we can provide the closest thing to this perfect recess for our students, it will only improve our entire uh, school climate. So really quickly, for those who don't know, Playworks is a national nonprofit with a mission that every child gets to play every day. This is their theory of change. We all want to learn, teach, and work in a positive school climate where students and adults are engaged no matter what time of day it is or content area they're in, where they are developing those life skills as well as learning in a positive environment. Over 20 years of evidence-based research shows that you must have a recess climate where students are engaged in safe and healthy play to get to that overall positive school climate. Not only do our students feel physically safe, they are taken care of emotionally as well. So how do you create that sort of recess climate? It has to be high functioning with systems that are consistent and support an active playground. The way we've developed this district-wide over the past 10 years has been through partnering directly with Playworks through various levels of supports and training, having caring and consistent adults such as your Playworks PE brain booster coach, as well as your recess staff, consisting of recess aides, as well as members potentially from your behavior team, and finally through a strong school community. Research shows that when our students get consistent access to meaningful play and movement, academic achievement goes up and behavior issues go down. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. So how can we determine what a high-functioning recess even looks like? We all know when our students are having fun, but what indicators should we look for? The Robert Wood Johnson Foundation recommended that recess not only be integrated as an essential part of the school day, but that a formal assessment would be needed to continue to improve it based on key indicators. Years ago, Playworks partnered with Stanford Mathematica to create the Great Recess Framework, identifying those indicators and supporting schools in assessing and improving their recesses. So when our students' needs are met outside, 
It's when we look through the lens of safety, engagement, and empowerment, which I'll cover in a little bit. They created a foundation that is necessary to provide the opportunities for physical health development, as well as practicing those social skills, such as contract resolution and self-regulation. And it just creates a recess that our students deserve. As you can see in the figure on the right, this framework is supported through the components of games and activities that are provided by trained staff members who are supported by our recess systems, which I'll go over next. So recess isn't just all about fun and games. I want you to think of your classroom. How do your students know what to do, how to do, and where to do anything? We see the playground as a classroom. Students need to know what's available to participate in, where to play those activities, how to play them, and other expectations to keep a safe and healthy environment where they can thrive. Our four systems that maintain it for us are equipment, it provides those opportunities, visuals and boundaries help our students know how and where to play, rules and consequences keep everyone safe, and transitions support them back into the classroom ready to learn. Here are just a couple of examples of how these systems look out at all of our schools. Beautiful. If you haven't been outside to recess, check them out. So who's in charge of these systems? Staff. A large part of my role is providing monthly trainings for those who work outside at recess and inside the gym with PE at our elementary schools. They're the ones who are driving safe and healthy play at your school. Your recess slash playwork staff consists of your Brain Booster Playworks PE IT, who is in charge of teaching our Utah PE core standards, integrating their work into school-wide efforts such as your PBIS systems, as well as supporting the activities outside at recess. Your recess aides are the ones in charge of creating and maintaining those systems I just went over, working with every single student every single day. They can be indispensable to a school's behavior management strategies as they have the opportunity to interact with every student kindergarten through fifth grade. Some schools uh, have their behavior staff as well outside, such as BAs, um, during recess so they can help support that safe and healthy behaviors as well, um, whether it's with one-on-one -on -one or small groups. And lastly, you! Every teacher has the opportunity to go outside and witness their students engaging with others in such a po positive and beneficial way. With games and activities, we want students to feel the freedom to choose what they want to play while maintaining a safe and healthy environment for everyone. Playworks promotes a rich recess where play centers around the values of respect, inclusion, community, and healthy play. In Canyons, we promote this uh, so schools align their school rules with what happens outside a recess. So just like in the hallway or the lunchroom, students are still expected to be safe, kind of responsible or respectful or engaged. Whatever your school rules are, we want to see that outside a recess as well. So let's get into the GRF or otherwise known as the Great Recess Framework. The GRF uses a rubric from one to four that assesses 23 indicators broken up into three categories of safety, engagement, and empowerment. The first lens that I'll cover is safety because it's the foundation of that pyramid. Our students won't feel empowered to play if they feel unsafe physically and or emotionally. While we know there, are, there will always be a student or two that need an ice pack, we want to minimize injuries like soccer players colliding into the tag game or students hiding behind the portables in the middle of the blacktop. Within this lens, we look at these indicators within play space and equipment, student interactions, and adult interactions. You can see that this lens is mostly covered through our four systems. If we're proactive with those, systems, we should be able to prevent a lot of things, issues, behaviors, whatever we're trying to avoid out there. We want to make sure that the play space is safe, equipment is available, students are being respectful to one another, and that adults are able to supervise all students. Also, don't worry if this font feels really small and you'd like to look over it some more, I'll give you access to the rubric. Our next lens is engagement. 
So if we have a safe place to safe place to play, our students will be engaged in healthy ways outside as well. So we may have all heard a student say, I don't want to play anymore. They aren't playing by the rules or I'm bored. There's nothing to do. I personally was excluded from many games when I was young, just simply because I was a girl. So we want to provide a variety of opportunities and games to meet diverse interests. Within those games, we want students to feel supported by adults as well as the rules that have been set up. We also want adults involved too. No incident was ever prevented by an adult on duty observing from a distance. While we want supervising adults to be aware of all that is going on, we know that a positive interactions between adults and students are essential. We want adults outside to engage with their students instead of reacting to issues. Also, it's a lot more fun. Our final lens is empowerment. So if we have a safe recess where students can engage with one another, they will be empowered to run it on their own. They're free to choose activities that are available outside and maintain them with their peers. Thinking back to that perfect recess you imagined, I bet you didn't have much of a role in it. You saw students playing on their own, maybe even using Rochambeau, have you seen it in your classrooms, uh, to resolve an argument, lining up quickly with little to no reminders and having fun. <sighs> what a dream. We want, pos or we want our adults to also model those positive behaviors, such as supporting students in games, cheering them on, as well as students feeling like they have the skills to maintain that safe and healthy recess environment on their own. If we are able to address those indicators between all three lenses, we will have that high-functioning recess that leads to a positive school climate where everyone, students and adults, can thrive. So... How do we use this framework as a district? Every fall and spring, I, along with other trained ISD members, go out to lunch recess and assess third grade two times using our rubric. Once the data is collected, I meet with your teams to celebrate all of the good that is going on outside and discuss the ways that we can continue to improve recess. While third grade has been chosen as the standard, they also have the opportunity to set goals around improving other grades as well. While we have most control over what goes on at lunch recess, we want to make sure that students feel that consistency across their day at both lunch and grade level recesses. So that's where teachers come in. Most of you have recess duty and go out with your students at least monthly, maybe weekly, or even daily. And I'd love for you to feel empowered to see recess for all of the benefits I've mentioned. Praise your students who are positive to others. Cheer on those students who are trying new things. Encourage students to get into a game because the equipment is available. Not only will this improve your relationship with your students, but will also improve your own mood. Having fun can be quite contagious. Also, please don't feel like you have to do an assessment right any means. I just want to draw attention to how great most of our recesses are across the district. I'd also love you to consider using the four systems or indicators as ways to help make your recess better. If you feel like you are constantly correcting behaviors, is there a way to support those students with making better choices by ensuring they have the games they want to play outside? Or maybe it's having a more engaging transition to get them inside faster. So, please reach out to your Playworks IT or your recess aides for ideas or support when it comes to your recess. You also always can reach out to me. This is my 10th year supporting safe and healthy play outside, and I would love to come to your school, whether it's to jump into a PE class or at lunch recess or even your grade level recess. Uh, I love this. So now that I'm done, let's review what you were here for today. I hope you learned the foundations of recess and how to utilize the GRF to your benefit. With that, you should be able to use the components from it to improve your own recess. Thank you for attending the Bite Size PD with me. My contact information is there on the screen, and I'd love to hear from you, whether you want to share a highlight around recess from your school or you'd like some ideas on how to make it even better. Have a great rest of your day and make sure you find some time to play. Bye.